Похоже, что психические расстройства стали... It seems like more and more people suffer from mental health disorders. Anxiety, ADHD and depression being the most frequent. What are they from a magical point of view? What is their purpose and why has it become so pronounced for people particularly in our time? Good question, colleague. And Irina asks as well. Is there any material regarding panic attacks, where they come from and why so many people, including children, suffer from it? What can be done to combat them? See, the questions come from two different cultural locations, English-speaking and Russian-speaking, but they're having the same kind of problems. And this means that this problem does not depend on the social environment or the social system, but is in fact a general problem, as our colleagues very justly pointed out. Why is that? Fact is that such problems are a characteristic when the world, the informational space, experiences a change in the density of the presented information. What is meant is... See, supposedly, if there is a growth in population, meaning the number of people increases, then more information should be given to them, so that there is enough for everyone. But it turns out that only a small part of the population is capable of perceiving this information, like in general. And so it happens that the density of information that lands on an average consciousness increases manifold because another consciousness simply wasn't able to perceive it. And this sentence that in the last few years could be found in every blog, any forum and video that has, so to say, become so unbearably annoying because it is absolutely unclear what it actually implies, this sentence that says that people should awaken or simply wake up, and this call, wake up, what does that mean, nobody can understand. Well, it actually means that the consciousness of a person has to start perceiving information, external information, internal information, because in a sleeping consciousness this quality is lacking. A sleeping consciousness doesn't dare to act, it can only be led. And this information cannot just be scattered around into nowhere, and this means that it will be taken on by some other consciousness. And sometimes it happens that the load, the informational load on such consciousness is excessive, meaning that a person perceives this information but cannot deal with the degree of its density. And then it starts to panic. The mind itself panics. It is incapable of digesting this received informational current. The current arrives but cannot be digested. And that is when what our colleagues called anxiety kicks in. It is the first stage. Same with panic attacks and hyperactivity. These are all effects of the inability of a consciousness to deal with the informational current. And in the last few years, this really has become a problem. I can't say that this started at the moment of the pre-planned transformations, like the pandemic and such. It started a little bit earlier. But with every year, it just got denser, denser, denser and denser. The consciousness of many people simply started closing off automatically, like closing in a shell. I can see anything, I can hear, and I won't tell anything to anyone. It is purely a psychological defense, not perceiving these densified currents. And some didn't close off, but were forced to perceive this current in the volume and in the density that they're not used to. Those who work with their consciousness, those who understood straight away what is happening here, or at least intuitively felt that now it is the time to do something, and not doing something with the outer world, but with their own self, those now have a greater chance for success. Although in the last few years, even they, even experienced practitioners, have had it very hard, because to compensate, they had to take on all this extra hyper-dense informational load. But nonetheless, they survived, persisted, and on the contrary, have even started to develop more rapidly. This can really be observed by all indicators. Take as an indicator the students of my school, for example, a sharp quantum leap in the last few years, in the last two, three years for sure, absolutely. 
It is also a kind of test, an injection of informational current density. Will you take it or will you not? Will you manage to grasp it to compensate for the incapability of others to perceive this information? Because it is you who will have to process it and it is you who will have to somehow apply it to the surrounding reality. Changing the profile of activity, changing the informational current that you already emanate, changing a lifestyle, changing certain habits and worldview foundations. Those who manage to deal with this dense current will agree with me and confirm that in the last few years their life has changed very, very much. It changed in the direction of speeding up these processes, in the direction of strengthening one's own position in this world. As if they have really become a strong pillar that others can grab onto to those who aren't able to perceive this current but lose the ground from underneath their feet and need something to hold on to and began holding on to you, the ones who could make it. A lot depends on your understanding. What will you be going further for these people and what will you be for yourself? Are you ready to recognize yourself as a supportive foundation, thereby not using this quality for your personal vested interests, meaning not infringing on the free will of another person, which would mean that you have earned your right to freedom and have passed all these tests? But if you will, even for just a minute, try to as it was said by the last Messiah, offend one of these little ones, it all can end very badly, because only someone who recognizes the right to freedom of others has earned the right of freedom for himself. This is just an advice.